If you're a fan of Three Amigos, then stick around, because you're about to discover 15 behind-the-scenes facts about this classic farce comedy. The three stars really did sing the Ballad of the Three Amigos at the film's opening, so now you can be impressed that they did hit that high note at the end, but it's unknown if they really held the note for 14 seconds or if it was stretched out in the editing process. Steve Martin did all the rope tricks himself, and he learned to do them as a teenager while he was selling souvenir lassos in Disneyland. Steven Spielberg almost directed the movie. The famous director considered making the film in the early 1980s, and he wanted Steve Martin, Robin Williams, and Bill Murray as the leads, but ultimately Steven Spielberg decided to make E.T. instead. John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, and Rick Moranis were also considered for the leads too. Steve Martin had initially imagined co-starring alongside Belushi and Aykroyd, but their involvement may have been phased out since the movie took almost 10 years to make. If Martin Short was unavailable to play Ned, then the director John Landis wanted to cast Rick Moranis as the third amigo instead. This was Martin Short's first big movie. Short had been working on TV for years on shows like Saturday Night Live before he landed the part as Ned and the Three Amigos. The three stars put their health at risk for the silent film sequence by wearing lead-based makeup, which is authentic to the time period, but still just as hazardous to the health as it was back then. If you were curious what the actors were eating by the fire, the bat wings were really just strips of bacon. A funny conversation can be overheard in the scene where the three amigos are trying to sneak into El Guapo's fortress and then freeze, and the two guards who pass them are discussing a recipe in Spanish. An odd coincidence about Alfonso Arau, who played El Guapo, is that more than a decade before doing Three Amigos, he was in a Mexican movie of the same name, called Tres Amigos. If Harry Flugelman's voice sounds familiar to you, it's because he's played by Joe Montaigne, who is the voice of Fat Tony from The Simpsons. A reference to the classic movie Singing in the Rain can be seen on the billboard when the Amigos break into the studio to retrieve their costumes. The name of the movie on the billboard was The Dueling Cavalier, which is the same name of a movie made by Don Lockwood and Lena Lamont in Singing in the Rain. John Landis, who directed the film, is no stranger to comedy movies, but if you grew up during the 80s and 90s like me, you may know him best for directing Michael Jackson's Thriller and black or white music videos. Roger Ebert hated the movie. This is a case where the late famous critic got it wrong, because Ebert gave Three Amigos one star, calling it too confident, too relaxed, and too clever to be really funny. Ebert also complained that the performers, especially Chevy Chase, were underutilized and that the film lacked energy overall. Other popular movies have copied the premise of Three Amigos, such as Galaxy Quest that is about a group of sci-fi TV stars who have to convince real aliens that they are actual space explorers, and A Bug's Life that features an ant who seeks the help of circus bugs who try to pass themselves off as warriors to save his colony. Another Pixar reference is that Randy Newman, who composed the music for the Toy Story series, he was one of the three screenwriters and also provided the voice of the singing bush that helps to guide the three amigos on their way. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and then click a video you see on the screen to learn more fun facts about your favorite films.